Now they're disappointed, no food. Okay! Come on! The old lady's behind. Come on, a little bit. Come on, a little bit. Come on. Come on, a little bit. See, when sheep get old, they lose a lot of their teeth, so they can't chew the food enough for, to digest it properly, so they get skinny. But she's an old pet, this one. No, come on, come on. Come on, there's lots of food. You're gonna miss it, actually. One, Inca, wait. Okay, we're gonna go up that alleyway. I've gotta close this gate. I'm about to shift the uh, fence uh, for the horses before I turn them out after the storm yesterday. I was just looking at the trees the leaves are coming down but just right here the fallen leaves there's a horse chestnut an ash a cherry a um plains tree or uh what do some people call those sycamore tree uh you know a beech tree beech leaves there's a beech so just in the leaf fall it's wonderful to see the diversity and that'll be a diversity of vitamins and minerals and that each tree decides that it wants to eat and put into its leaves and then shed in the autumn. So no, I don't rake the leaves. The soil eats the leaves so that the minerals are all joined back into the, uh, hey, yeah, uh, good girl, yeah. So the minerals that the roots of the trees have gotten from deep down will now come back to the surface of the soil and be eaten by the worms and bugs and bacteria and mycorrhizal and mycorrhizal funguses, all sorts of things. So having trees is excellent health for the uh, soil. So many house martins. We had a really good crop of them this year. They're still here. They haven't left. I'd say this was the second fledging. There's loads of insects. They're having a field day, swooping and eating. Look at them all. Loads. There's so many. House Martins having a feeding frenzy. I don't know if you can see the sky is full of them. Loads and loads of them. Hungry birds. Well, it's wonderful to see. And there's so many. This is the end of September. Look at them all. Hungry birds.
spreading out to get the windfall apples and they love the fallen leaves. You can see in this little plantation here, there's spindle and cherry and rowans and some willow and some oak. And I've planted some oxeye daisies, some evening primrose, and then lovely scabias. And you can see there's oxeye daisies up here are flowering. See that oak tree right there? It's doing really well. These are oaks that I've grown. This one is just accelerating. It is dying so well. It's amazing how straw mulch really, really works. You're not gonna work jumping up. Those posts are very tiny. So loads of oxide daisies. I'm gonna have to get those nettles out of there because I don't want the nettles and the thistles. See, there's oxide daisies right there and they're surrounded by nettle, uh, thistles. But I want to get diversity, diversity, diversity. So I don't want thistles to take over. Here's some buttercups. Anyway, the reason I'm here is to call and see if the lambs are gonna come. I get for a dry throat having done hay. Come on, babies! Come on! Let's see if they're going to come. Mm. You can see here, this is a birch tree. There's another birch tree. A larch, a larch, a walnut tree, a lime tree. Then there's a... Um, those are horse chestnuts. And I think that's an ash. Or it could be a sycamore. And there's a willow. And there's an oak tree. But I think the lambs don't know where I am. So I might have to go up the hill. And then they can visually see me. So I'll call them. So they can see me because they're used to going the other direction for food and I've just turned them out here recently. Come on babies! Come on! Oh look at this. This is, look at that, purple clover, sheep's parsley, a puppy. Oh look, it's a puppy! These are some hawkweed. Look at that. Diversity in a tiny as soon as I stop. Yep, they've seen me. Come on! Come on, babies! Come on! I have a cat. Come on, babies! Yeah, Java, Java, come here. Come on, bring them with you, Java. Come on. Come on, Java. Good boy. Watch out, Mustard. You're gonna get got. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Out of babies. Come on. Come on, babies. Java, leave it. Java, leave it. There we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're all here. So they're all getting their meal. Clever dogs. Come on, Bear. Hey, Bear, how are you? 
avoiding the sheep as usual. Come on. So while the yews, alpaca, and hoggets have been eating their supper, I've been picking golden delicious windfalls. Lovely treat. They're going to love it. Okay, nobody's up there anymore. They've all come down here. No, 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 there's nothing in the bucket. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. It's the apples. Go on. It's the apples. There's nothing in the bucket. See, there's nothing in the bucket. <coughs> nothing in the bucket. See? Nothing. <coughs> well, some of them are eating the apples. Some of them aren't. I think they prefer red apples to golden delicious apples. <coughs> no, 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 no. Go on. You got... Ah! Leave it. I've got to close the gate now. That is empty. It's an empty bucket. It's an empty bucket. Excuse me. Can you go back? <sighs> you guys, time, be careful. Brindle, leave it. Come on, back out. Now. Oh, some of them are eating the apples. Ha. Huh. The apples will be gone by morning. Ooh, we're having a brother fight. Sibling rivalry. Dog's telling them to stop. <laughs> you never know who's gonna win. They fight each other, and sometimes mustard wins, and sometimes time wins. So I think them fighting, there's no dominant one. They're equally paired. So they fight all the time. Trying to figure out who's gonna be boss cat. If Maya could, she'd jump up to disrupt the fight. Yeah. Siblings.
So, Tom, you were the one that backed off. And you were victorious. the king temporarily. King Cat. <laughs>